Hello everyone, in this video I will going to give you a tutorial about making a 3D visualization using 3GIS, GGIS. First we must going to open the GGIS and then you must prepare same data of DEM, DEM data and any other data that you want to visualize but I will just use a DEM <coughs> first you must go to open data source manager to open DM and then click on raster and then you choose the DM in this case I I use the USGS DM of 30 meter resolution and then click on add and then maybe if you want to make it a bit more uh, good you can add the XYZ tiles of the Google satellite like here then you have to go to set the coordinate system of this map canvas or layers all of the layers in here map canvas you can go to right corner in here then click on it and then you set to UTM coordinate zone of your location and then click apply then ok next we are going to gigis to 3gs plugins first you must install this plugin first in plugin toolbar right here and then click on manage and install plugins then you search for kigis to 3g to 3gs right here and then you just have to click on the install and then you already on set okay we go to kigis to 3gs in here and then as you can see click on the dm to make it look the height mark right here It's success but not good because the symbology is just uh, in the gray scale first we must go to symbology first to make it look a bit more good we click in here and then single band pseudo color click on linear click on the color ramp Oops. click on the color ramp here input color ramp then there you go it's a bit good than before and then we go to kigis to tjs again then as you can see it's a bit more good than before uh, and then if you want to just make the base map not the dm of visualization if you want you to just visualize the base map of your data you just have to off the DM layer in here and then go to kigis to 3js again right here and then kigis to 3js will use the height data of the DM to your base map right here you just have to click on the scene scene setting you can view it if we set the exaggeration to make it a little bit more uh, interactive or a bit more um, interesting we can just set the exaggeration right here apply and then you can see it it's a bit more bold or you just you can edit again like this or you have just to make it to okay. and then this is the material you can choose the material so it will be uh, visualized differently right like here apply or 
maybe it's not too it's not too obvious but you can see it it's a bit more different if you choose another material okay and then click on ok and then you have you can export it to image right here save scene as image or you can save it as a to web web browser if you save it as image it will be see it like this I already save it like this if you save it as image but if you want to save it as web or browser you just have to click on the file and then click on export to web and then you browse the output directory the folder of your web select it and then this is the HTML HTML file name this is the pack title you can uh, customize the page, this page title but I advise you to not uh, change this this HTML file name because well it's not good if you change it and then make sure you click on the enable the viewer to run locally because if you want if you don't enable it uh, this this scene will be not uh, will be not open in your web browser it will make the output of uh, not not support or anything like that okay this is the template you can choose whatever you like you just have to click on export right here and then if you want to view it you just have to click on this if you don't want to uh, scan for your into file folder you just click on this to see the web page tile then there you go the web of 3d visualization like this oops you if you click on it it will show some data of coordinates and elevation like this okay there you have it thank you for your attention uh, please like and subscribe see you again thank you please like and subscribe thank you